It's with abundant pleasure and pride. Mr. Passon, morale for two. Still tweaking? The prompter guys needed the disc a half an hour ago. No way. Uh, it's with surpassing pleasure and pride, blah, 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 Robert Russell, blah, blah, confirmed by overwhelming vote as befits this distinguished choice. Distinguished. Want to use surpassing again? Eminent? Illustrious? Problem being, he's none of those things. This is my problem. Nor is he estimable, laudable, or someone we'd walk across the room to shake hands with. The president wants altitude. As befits this vertiginous choice. Distinguished is as high as we go. You'd have to be high to go loftier. Here's what it should be. In a triumph of the middling, a nod to mediocrity, and with gorge rising, it gives me great nausea to announce Robert Russell, bingo Bob himself, as your new vice president. This lapdog of mining interests is as dull as he is unremarkable. As lackluster as he is soporific. Good. This reversion to the mean. This rebuke to the exemplary. Gives hope to the millions unfavored by the exceptional. Yes. The vice presidency being famously once described as not being worth a warm bucket of spit, let's now hawk a big loogie for Bob Russell. Not the worst, not the best. Just what we're stuck with.